In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the energy requirements of translation. So in translation, we had a bunch of different processes occur, namely initiation, elongation, and termination. But before we could even have that, we had to have the amino acyl tRNA synthetase reaction occur, which activated the amino acid and charged the tRNA. So each activation step or, um, or charging step requires two ATP equivalents. And that's because we went from an ATP to an AMP and a pyrophosphate. And of course, the pyrophosphate was hydrolyzed off into two inorganic phosphates. So that's the equivalent of using two ATPs. Initiation required one ATP equivalent in which we used a GDP, which was hydrolyzed off into a GDP and an inorganic phosphate. The elongation required two ATP equivalents. There was one GTP for the actual elongation step in which we formed the covalent bond between the two amino acids. And one, GD, one GTP required for translocation. So now each elongation step required two ATP equivalents. So each time you add an amino acid, it costs two ATP equivalents. Termination required one ATP equivalent. A GTP was hydrolyzed off into a GDP and an inorganic phosphate. So if we know this information, how can we use that to calculate the amount of energy it would cost to make a peptide chain? So what if we wanted to make an amino acid chain of just four amino acids, a peptide chain made up of four amino acids? How much energy would that cost? Well, each one of these amino acids needs to be activated. So that would we have four of them times two ATP equivalents because each step will require two ATP equivalents. Initiation only needs to happen once, right? Once we've initiated, we're done. So we require one ATP equivalent for initiation. Now what about elongation? Well, once we've initiated it, we have one amino acid sitting in the peptide chain and we're going to add three to it. So that means if we're going to add three of them, then we're going to have three elongation steps. So we're going to have three elongation steps times the energy requirement for each step, which is two equivalents, so that'll cost us six ATP. Once we've added all of those, we need to terminate the translation, and that's only going to cost us one ATP equivalent. So that total there is 16 ATP. So what about for a, a, a peptide chain that with 30 amino acids in length? Well, in this case, you would have to have 30 times two for activation, each amino acid would need to be activated, so that would be 60 ATP there. Initiation only would cost 1 ATP. Termination would also only cost 1 ATP. In this case, how many elongation steps are we going to have? Well, if it's 30, we start off with 1 amino acid, and we're going to elongate it by adding 29 amino acids. So we're going to have 29 times 2, which is 58. So then if we add all this up to get to uh, total, we get 120 ATP. So that's how much it would energy would cost to make a peptide chain that was 30 amino acids in length. Hope that video was helpful. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moofuniversity.gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.